Well, I think one of the most important ways that leaders can create a culture of ethics is not making it a culture of their ethics. And because ethics have to feel authentic to the individual and to the moment. And the ethics of Dan Helfrich are not by definition the ethics of Deloitte or the ethics of another individual. And so how do you get an ethical mindset into the culture of an organization? The way I've done it is A, to highlight those that have taken important ethical stands and use the platform that I have to communicate to on town halls or otherwise highlight individuals and moments where it's clear that ethical choices were made. That might be in our business a choice we made not to serve a client who wanted to pay us a lot of money because we weren't comfortable with the end impact that that work we would have done would have had on society. That's an example of um, an ethical choice. And the last thing I've done is I've said to our team that quantitative business results are less important than responsible ethical behavior. And that in a choice where those two things are weighed against one another, which hopefully they aren't often, but in reality it sometimes happens, that we want a culture and we will back it up with who we reward, the people that choose the responsible high integrity pathway at the expense of quantitative business results. And if you can communicate that and stand by it, then the culture of ethics will permeate the organization and it will live beyond you as an individual leader.